So today, apart from editing real estate videos, I'm actually going to be working on modifying jewelry. So yesterday, I bought two things. So this is to measure the ring size. This one, a Bunnings, we pick that up um, to create the scar effect on a ring. So a scar effect is basically this, and I want to have a go at putting that onto a ring, and then hopefully we can have a go at trying to modify all the rings that we already have. We're going to head to the gym. So you may be asking why I'm doing this little jewelry and everything. And the reason is because at the end of the year, we're going vagabonding. And vagabonding is essentially traveling with one backpack. So I'm going to be traveling Australia with my girlfriend and hopefully by mid next year, the world. And what I want to do is I want to create jewelry inspired by world travel. So jewelry inspired by cultures around the world, jewelry inspired around travel, aesthetics, and attention to detail. So although it sounds a bit weird, it's what I want to do. I want to create jewelry. I love making things that are small, intricate, have attention to detail, and that are aesthetic. So that's the plan. I want to build a brand that I can absolutely support 100% no matter what. I want to build the brand that I want. And jewelry may sound generic, but I really like it. I really love the idea of jewelry. I love designing things and representing things in little intricate objects. Okay, skipping ahead quite a bit. It's nine o'clock. Um, and we have a better camera now, we have a better microphone. Um, didn't realize how bad the audio was in the previous one, but now what we're going to do is pick up that Dremel that we were talking about, and I'm also going to try to find some tools as well, uh, either from Bunnings or if there's a local jewelry store, I'll see if I can uh, find something there to just pick up uh, the tools that I need. Bunnings! Okay, so that's aisle seven, but can't seem to find it. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, do you know what that is? Dremel. So, Dremel, Dremel. Yeah, yeah. This ring here is a ring from China that I bought a while ago. And this is my practice ring. So this ring, I'm going to try to add the damage check texture on it, just straight onto it. Um, and then just see how that goes. I've got two of these. So if this one doesn't work, then, then I'll watch a video to see how to actually do it. Okay, so this one, I think it's so it's not doing anything to this. It's it's just scratching, not even scratching the surface. You can't even feel it when you rub your finger on it. So I think maybe because it's not silver, I don't know, we'll find out. This one's silver, this is one of my rings. We're just gonna try to do whatever to it. Okay, now I'm thinking that it just needs a bit more pressure, so we're gonna push it against the table instead. Um, yeah, see if that works. Nothing. What the hell? Time to do some research because there is not a single dent in that. Okay, so the next option is I changed the tool. So this tool's a bit bigger. Looks like it has some grooves in it. Looks like I might cut through it a bit. Hoping it does. We'll find out. So, so this is what we've ended up with. This is 
the damage look, it actually works. We've got a damage look for the ring. Okay, this is interesting. So we've just finished off this ring and it's a bit too bright for my liking. So all my other rings are oxidized, but this one isn't. Now, there's two solutions that I've found online. One of them is to buy an oxidizing agent, which is about $50 for a liter, and I can't get it in Australia. And the other option, which sounds a bit weird, is boiling an egg and then smushing the ring in the egg and leaving it in the fridge for two hours. It sounds weird, but I don't want to buy the oxidizing agent, so we're doing the egg. Okay, it's in the box. It's in the middle of an egg. I hope it oxidizes, because it's quite gross if it doesn't do anything. Oh, there it is. All right, let's put it in the fridge. Right, let's have a look. All right, it's, that looks gross. It looks like it actually worked. Okay, I can't tell for certain, but just from looking in here, it looks like it's actually worked. All right, I'm gonna take it out because I think it's a bit black, actually a bit too black. Oops. Oh. <coughs> That's it there. It's disgusting. But that's it. Let's have a look. That's it right there. Looks, it does look oxidized, so it does look like it actually worked. Uh, as you can see, that's the ring there. Now, it looks a bit yuck, to be honest. It looks like it's been burnt or something, so. Definitely gonna have to remove a bit of that, but as far as it goes, this is definitely something that I'll have to sort of iterate on. But obviously, we're not gonna, we're not going to constantly be putting my rings in eggs. Uh, but what I might do from here is I might polish it up a little bit, so just get rid of the very black bits, and then just call it, call it as it is. So just to call it ready. So I think it's pretty much done now. Um, that's the end of the vlog for today. So. Um, thanks for watching. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. I do want to try to do these vlogs daily for at least 30 days. Bit of a challenge. Uh, so, yeah, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.